Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. We're going to talk just briefly today about nasiha, about religious concern. The Prophet sallallahu defined religion itself in this one beautiful concept. He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ad-deenun nasiha, religion itself is nasiha. Commonly people translate nasiha as being sincere counsel or giving advice. But if you think about it, it doesn't make any sense. How could religion itself be giving people advice? Because if you look in your daily life, your religious friends or religious family members who keep giving you advice are the kinds of people you want to be most far away from. And you don't want to be like them because they seem to be heavy and it doesn't seem to be reflective of the prophetic way of gentleness and mercy. And this is because nasihad is not in itself giving advice. Rather, the root meaning of nasiha in the Arabic language is to have sincere concern for another. It's to seek the good with respect to another. It's to care. And so religion isn't giving advice. Rather, religion is sincere concern for another. How is that manifest? That is manifest in many ways. One of which is that you give advice to another. So we need to correct our understanding about that because to be a person of religion means that you care for the good both in your relationship with Allah and you're relating to other people. In your relationship with Allah, that sincere concern means that you have this avidness to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have this yearning in your heart for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You strive to attain unto His love. And in relating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, it entails that you care for the good for them. Our Messenger sallallahu said, none of you believes until they wish for others as they wish for, them, as they wish for themselves. So when you give someone advice, this is not religion. Rather, the, re the religious impulse that is praiseworthy in it is that you care for the good for the other person. So when you want to give someone religious advice, you see someone doing something wrong, how do you correct them? You correct them because you care. You, you correct them because you're concerned for the good of, for, for them and then you consider carefully how can I do this in a way that will be of benefit, that will be reflective of the prophetic example. This requires that we look at the example of the Prophet ﷺ and how he advised other people and how he took care that he would convey guidance to them and tell them what is right and keep them away from what is wrong in a po positive way. There's a beautiful example which is how the Prophet ﷺ taught a young companion, Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik, who was in the Prophet Sallallahu company that he would serve the Prophet Sallallahu One day the Prophet والسلام, sent him on an errand to the marketplace. So Sayyidina Anas went, but on the way he became distracted by some of his friends whom he started playing with and he forgot about the errand. So the Prophet Sallallahu headed out to look for Sayyidina Anas. Where is he? Because the errand was important. And but what did he do, sallallahu alaihi wasallam? He wanted to make it clear that no, you should have gone and, and fulfilled the errand. But the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam simply walked up to Sayyidina Anas, stood behind him. Sayyidina Anas realized that someone standing behind him, so he looked back, and it was the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But what did our beloved messenger, alayhi salatu wasallam, do? He simply smiled, and that beautiful smile conveyed everything of religious advice that needed to be conveyed. And also a practical reminder that you, know, you need to go to the market and, and, and complete the errand. But this is the way of the Prophet. Peace and blessings be upon him. Sayyidina Anas said, I kept the company of the Prophet ﷺ for 10 years. And he began that when he was aged 10. And teenagers do what teenagers do. But the Prophet ﷺ never once censured him. Never once criticized him or rebuked him. Nor did the Prophet ﷺ ever say to Sayyidina Anas, Why did you do this and why didn't you do that? But he gave him religious guidance. He gave him religious advice. But out of mercy, with love, with gentleness and in a, in a positive way. The Prophet, when he corrected someone, he'd correct them positively. And in our dealings with family and friends, we should be concerned for the good for them. And when we see them 
falling short of the good or falling into the wrong, we should be people who give sincere counsel but out of deep sincere concern because that is religion. Religion is that you care about Allah, you care about the Messenger of Allah, you care about the Book of Allah and you care about God's creation. You care about God's creation in seeking the favor of God. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He grant us true religion, that we become a people of true concern and that He grant us the good of this life and the next. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.